So looking at the thermometer, it is 36. Our wind is west-northwesterly at 3 miles per hour. Should be relatively light all day today. And here's the dew points that were in the 40s yesterday. Now in the 30s, the drier air in place. And so it's going to allow us to turn a little cooler at night, but also warm up more during the day as warm air can do that. And here's a look at actual air temps. Holton now at 34, so there might be a little bit of frost in some outlying areas this morning. And then 37 Emporia, 38 Junction City, and a couple of spots are actually in the low to mid 40s. It is much warmer south of us, low 60s down towards San Antonio and Houston and New Orleans and getting into Tampa. And then you have these 40s and 50s in our part of the country. And then up north, the coldest of airs currently. In Minnesota and also Wisconsin, sliding across the UP of Michigan. Uh, not much showing up on radar, but you get up toward Omaha, some very light showers that are drifting east southeast, and so that's going to stay north of us. This is actually a part of that disturbance that was up here in the Rockies and Upper Plains, so that's been moving toward the east, and there's a little bit of rain. Some of these light showers may actually clip areas like St. Joe as we go through uh, at least the next couple of hours, and we're picking up a few clouds drifting through as a result of that. So I think we're going to be mostly sunny to partly cloudy, a much better chance of having some morning cloudiness drift in than what we'll see later today. And so there's some of it indicated at 7 o'clock and then that drifts off toward the east. Uh, we should be mostly sunny to partly cloudy again through the afternoon, but more clouds east than what we'll see out west. And then through Wednesday, I think we have a decent amount of sunshine. Scattered clouds form, the wind really picks up at 20 to 35, and then we'll have that actual area of low pressure toward California that will be here for Thursday and Friday to give us several rounds of showers and thunderstorms. So for today, some low 60s. I think a relatively pleasant day. It does become breezy overnight. Already at that point, the wind 15 to 20. And then tomorrow again, the wind at 20 to 35. It looks pleasant. The number looks outstanding. But again, with that wind, it's going to be problematic. Things are going to whip around quite a bit. And it won't be necessarily that nice to be out, but at least it's going to be nice and warm at 73. Some areas might be 75, easily our warmest day of the season so far. And then scattered storms on Thursday, and some of those through late Thursday and Thursday night might be strong. And then on Friday, we're going to have rainy periods, maybe a little thunder mixed in. Temperatures start coming down, and so probably 58 to 60 at that point. On Saturday, certainly cooler. Rain shuts off at daybreak, uh, pretty breezy and staying mainly cloudy, and then more sunshine on Sunday. Pleasant conditions on Monday, and hopefully that trend will carry us through much of next week. But we've got to watch out on this rain. Projected amounts could be in the one to two inch category, especially between Topeka and St. Joe, and that's not a good thing. We're coming back with much more of KSNT News in just a moment. Stick around as long as you can.